Okay, we're going to do a quick meets and bounds uh, parcel in Civil 3D. And before we get going, we need to make sure that the transparent commands button is up. So if you don't see that up, what you can do is go into any gray, gray, uh, gray area here and uh, go into the Civil and make sure transparent commands is checked and you'll see this this button bar and the, the command we're going to be using is the second one from the far left and it's the bearing and distance bar so you'll start a normal line command <clears throat> start it as just a line and you've selected the, the beginning place and it really doesn't matter but then when you select this button it gives you the four quadrants northeast northwest southeast southwest and we're going to go north northeast on this particular example and we're going to go uh, uh, 17 degrees 25 45 so that's 17 degrees 25 minutes 45 seconds in the quadrant that you're at when I press the enter key then it locks it in that bearing and I say it'll be uh, uh, 2254.36 feet and then it it uh, it starts the command basically over again so then we can we can go another one in the northeast quadrant and we'll say it's uh, 82 degrees 36 41 and we're gonna go uh, uh, 21 36.54 feet and then we'll we'll go back into the southwest quadrant and we'll say uh, that's uh, uh, 7 degrees 36 minutes and uh, 19 seconds and a distance of 20, 2256.34 feet and I'm just guessing these and then if I want to close out at that point I can use a meets and bearings to to come back if I'm copying a map or I can hit the escape key one time and then just use the end of O snap and close my parcel. Now if I want to see the bearings and distances that I keyed in there I can go lines and curves, uh, add, add curve labels, or I'm sorry, add, add uh, single segment line labels and I'm going to click all four of those and when I zoom in on them they're just horizontal but when I right click on one and, and with a grips on and I go to edit label style then I can go a bearing and distance I can go bearing over distance uh, these these different styles are available for me and I can change all of those uh, depending on how that goes now if I want to see this a little bit bigger it means that my overall drawing scale may not be set correctly so I want to go to settings right click on the drawing name that I'm working on which is drawing one edit the drawing settings and this is a 40 scale and let's make it a, uh, a 200 scale when I press OK then, then these automatically size to the new size and I'll say bearing over distance for those and I believe yeah I can I can select multiple ones and say bearing over distance on those and it'll change both of them now I'm basically set if one of those changes if I grab these lines right here and for some reason I have to move it over here the bearings and the distances stick with the line and they change automatically the setting the styles will have to be another lesson. 